All right, we have some um, representatives from uh, the six nations that would have been here in this area. Uh, originally, the five nations of the Haudenosaunee Confederacy. Uh, we have some uh, Onondaga people, the Seneca. Uh, we have uh, Darwin, who's from the Wolf Clan, and Al from the Heron Clan. Um, and they are from the Seneca Territories, and Elmer here is Hawk from the uh, Seneca Territory also. Uh, we have Seth who is uh, representing the Dainik and Haka people, uh, Mohawk people uh, from the Turtle Clan, and he's actually Tuscarora. And, um, we have Ui here, who is a obviously a woman, um, <laughs> and Tuscarora Turtle Clan. Um, and then we have a Shawnee gentleman. There would have been uh, participants from the south, natives from the south, uh, fighting here also. Um, the uniforms are varying. Um, we have. All of these gentlemen are heavily, what they're wearing is heavily influenced by the trade. Uh, we have uh, some European style clothing mixed in with some native style clothing. Um, the men are much more exciting with their apparel than the women, um, including a lot of uh, bags that would hold their gunpowder. Um, a lot more um, adornments, accoutrements than the women. Uh, we're wearing both moccasins and soleil boots, which would be the French style shoes that Seth has on there. Uh, the leg leggings are wool and leather and are tied back with a hand-woven garter, which would be very common in this time period. Um, you can see the breech cloth, just the is a bitty piece of wool there. And uh, some body paint, which would have been done with some vermilion or charcoal. And then the hairstyles would have been, um, if you see mine, I have a woman would have worn it in a club style. And the men would have um, a scalp lock, which is just a little taunting piece of hair um, on the top of their head.